Okay. The Premier uh, has said on a number of, case, of occasions, and he has even apologized for the lack of staff in CHSLDs, and he said if the government had increased those salaries before, we could have avoided uh, this horrible tragedy that we saw during the first wave. Isn't it more important for your government to increase those salaries, to recruit more people to work in CHSLDs, than to build whole new uh, buildings? Given you even said with the, the rising cost of construction, wouldn't it be better to to invest in in people and employees? We have to do both, and you raise an important issue: the lack of staff and the conditions in which the staff was working. This is why we there was so much uh, missing people in our CHSLDs. So we did this express program. So we had uh, we now have about 8,000 more préposés en CHSLD who are working because we, uh, we, we, we came up with a formation in three months so that we would be able to have more people to help our seniors. So this is the first part. The second part, the salary was bona fide. And so uh, we, uh, we answer what you just brought up. But we also have to have better places for our seniors to end their lives. This is not acceptable what we saw in the first wave of the pandemic. People uh, in, in insalubre, I don't know, vetus, the vetus? Run down. Run down, uh, seniors' home, uh, lack of staff, as I said, people who didn't get food, who didn't get treatments, who didn't get their sheets changed in their beds, no uh, air conditioning. So this is not acceptable that we treat our seniors like that. And I think no one in this uh, here with me would like to end his life in a place like that. So uh, 